Hey, your servants, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. And in this scratch tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to use variables. So I've already got a variable created here. And uh, maybe I'll just recreate a fresh one with you guys. So I'm going to create a whole new project. Now, um, with this variable, uh, I'll explain a little more about variables in a moment. What we're going to try to do in this Scratch project is we want to move our uh, cat from left to right. Now, uh, normally we would be moving him at a consistent speed. So I'm just going to set this up. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. So our cat is moving 10 steps at a time at the same speed for, oh, let's just make this a little bit faster now and move a bit more. So he moves 10 steps 20 times, but it's always 10 steps. Now, suppose I want my cat to maybe uh, run faster and faster or move faster and faster, or maybe want him to move slower and slower. Um, now, we could obviously do something like this. We could say move, um, you know, for moving faster, we might say move 10 steps. And next time we would move maybe 15 steps. And next time we would move, uh, I don't know, 30 steps, 20 steps. And next time we'd move 25 steps. So we're always moving more steps than we were last time which would make it appear as if he was moving faster. And let's just maybe try this out first. And we'll do a wait command. Wait, wait, wait. Let's change it to 0 0.1. 0 0.1. 1. Okay, let's move that in. Try this out. Okay. I might need a few more steps to see that really working. So let's keep going. 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Let's just get a few more steps in there. Step. So this would be 35 if we're going with our uh, five more steps each time trend. Let's play this again. Right, so we can kind of see our cat. He's moving more steps each time is moving faster and faster. Now you can see this is a real pain uh, in the neck to do it this way because you have to drag all these steps out. You got to change all the numbers. It's, it's It takes a really long time. So what I'm going to be showing you guys is uh, a shortcut using variables. So I'm going to call this one cat speed. And we want When we create a variable, we want it to describe what it's going to do. Now, a variable is, we can imagine it like a container, and um, it's going to contain a value. So I'm going to start with 10, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. And we're going to change it by 5 each time. So increases by five each time. Now, the last thing we'll need to do is we can use our move command, but the tricky thing about a variable is that we can actually use cat speed and we can plug that into where our steps are. And let me also get my weight as well. So move weight, we're just gonna do, leave cat speed up there. So move and wait, right? We do have an extra step, but actually our next step is actually exactly the same. Increase it by five, and then we repeat these three steps again and again. So uh, we could actually move this into here. And if we repeat this maybe uh, 10 times, and we just set our speed, let's just see this happen first. Right, it's moving quite slow. Let's maybe speed that up. 
try it again. Right, so we can kind of see our cat is speeding up by units of five each time. It keeps running faster and faster. And uh, we can actually, obviously, we can even increase that further to make it move even faster each time. And if we want, we can actually have them slow down. So we do a, a negative uh, two, let's say. Uh, so we're going to set our cat speed to, um, actually, I have to set our x position because he's going to start moving backwards. Uh, now we can do this, that's right, uh, 20. So he's going to start moving very fast, and he's going to decrease by two each time. Right, so the slowdown is, is quite obvious. Right, let's change it by minus one each time. Right, so you can see the cat is slowing down. Okay. If you watch up here, the, the variable, you can actually see it decreasing one at a time. Okay, if we repeat that 20 times, we decrease all the way down to zero. Okay, um, just as a one more last little bit of note here is, uh, even though it says move cat speed steps, it's not. Uh, it, it's looking at the value that cat speed represents. So cat speed represents a value of twenty, so it moves twenty steps. So it doesn't actually see the words cat speed. It sees what cat speed, uh, what's stored inside cat speed, or what it represents. And. Um, just as a little bit of a further uh, explanation here. So you can see I've designed a little uh, Excel spreadsheet here. And this is just to sort of visualize that, right, in the first second, the cat moves, you know, uh, 20 steps, let's say. And we can uh, see that represented as the, the distance that he moves, right? In the second second, he moves less distance. In the third second, he moves even less distance than the first two. And in the fourth one, he moves even less distance. So hopefully this allows you to see a, a bit more of a visual way of uh, why the cat is slowing down, because he's taking less steps each second. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you guys next time.